I wish to thank uh, Chairman Thornberry and commend uh, Ranking Member Smith for their hard work to bring this bill to the floor. And it's been an honor to be a member of this bipartisan committee. I also want to recognize my Chairman of Readiness, Representative Joe Wilson of uh, South Carolina for his invaluable assistance. The conference agreement authorizes $247.2 billion in operations and maintenance funding between the base and overseas contingency accounts. This includes increases in readiness enabling accounts to support depot level maintenance parts and spares, training and facilities sustainment, restoration and modernization. The agreement also challenges uh, the surface Navy following the four incidents that occurred in the Pacific last year. And with respect to military aviation, the agreement establishes a national commission on military aviation safety that will assess the causes of recent aviation mishaps and make changes for training, maintenance, personnel, and policies related to safety. The FY19 NDAA also begins to address challenges with DOD's facilities and infrastructure by authorizing appropriations of $11.3 billion for military construction and family housing. This includes authorization for 38 additional military construction projects from the service's unfounded priorities list. I am also grateful to the conference for including provisions important to Guam. First, the H-2B workforce provision allows us to fully implement the marine relocation to Guam from Okinawa, which is vital to the security of the Indo-Pacific region. This is an important step towards stabilizing Guam's workforce crisis, and I hope to continue working on further legislation needed for civilian relief. Also, the Navy's net negative commitment to Guam. The bill improves transparency by establishing a publicly accessible list of Navy property expected to be transferred to the government of Guam. The bill supports the ship repair industry on Guam in, in the U.S. The bill authorizes $32 million for the Navy to restore a dry dock capability and prohibits the Navy from redeveloping the former ship repair facility on Guam for any purpose other than to support the depot level ship maintenance. I continue to stress that it is very imperative for the Navy to maintain a depot level ship repair capability on sovereign U.S. soil in the Western Pacific. I close by extending my gratitude again to the chairman and the ranking member and to my colleagues and the professional staff and all who participated in producing the conference agreement. And I encourage my colleagues to support it. Thank you and I yield back.